a complex structure of pipes responsible for airflow, water supply, and hydraulics in anything from buildings to ships. The next career assembles and maintains these systems on this submarine. Let's meet the pipe fitter. Hi. Howdy. I'm Viviana. I'm Darsh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So this is where you work. This is it. In a submarine. That's right. Want to show me around? Yeah, let's take it for a ride. All right. My name is Darsh Dillon. I work at Victoria Shipyards of Squimalt on Victoria class submarines, and I'm a pipe fitter. Pipe fitter basically moves anything from point A to point B, whether it be steam, oxygen, water, hydraulic fluid for weapon systems, anything that can be moved in a pipe. My job here is to bend pipe and fit all the weapons hydraulic systems for the submarines. I fabricate different styles of pipe. I flush the pipes. I take the paint off them. I get the flanges prepared. I do bolt up. Marine fitting is a lot different than industrial fitting. Industrial fitting is more of run the pipe straight through the oil fields. We have to really go around a lot of objects, especially on a submarine being a stealth boat. We have to make sure that everything has a certain gap in between. The first thing I do is make sure that everything is on and ready to go. All the bottles are tested. Bottles would be anything from uh, oxygen to acetylene for cutting or heat treating. And then we fire up the bottles and start our day, whether it be bending, fabricating new pipe, heat treating to release stress, and then onto the boat, and then we start measuring up. All right, Viviana, you ready to do some heat treating? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. What we're going to be doing is heat treating the pipe to try to release all the stress in the bends. Okay. So what we want to do is try to heat the front, the top, underneath as well, and then the inside of the pipe. So basically what we're trying to do is try to get all the stress out of the pipe here without melting the pipe. So we want to try to get it a cherry red. Think you could give that a try? I think so. Some of the skills that are very mandatory that I find you really need to have is the ability to know exactly what your hands are doing without even seeing your hands, which to a lot of people can be a little challenging at times, but it's all about touch and feel. Another thing is problem solving and math. Math is very high in this trade, especially with marine fitting. So obviously you'd need to take trades math and shop classes definitely help. You have to be familiar with a lot of power tools. You'd have to do ELT, which is entry-level training. It's a nine-month course to familiarize yourself with all the pipe trades. And then after that, you work for X amount of hours until you can go back and do second year. Then you work for X amount of hours, and each time you go back to school, it's six weeks. And then when you go back for your fourth year, it's eight weeks to write your IPT, which is an interprovincial ticket, which allows you to steam fit in all provinces. A common misconception for a pipe fitter is that we're the equivalent of a plumber, where that is not the fact at all. A plumber deals with more of plastic and PVC piping to make their 45s and 90s. So they kind of stick to certain angles where a pipe fitter will manipulate at different degrees how the piping goes. We can do 27 degree bends. We can bevel pipes and weld them together. We can change any kind of angle we want. Plumbers are still a piping trade, so you can still do an apprenticeship as a plumber and as a pipe fitter. They just have to get X amount of hours and then challenge the IPT, and then they become a pipe fitter as well. On a submarine, we probably do more paperwork than the average pipe fitter. I'm very organized. I keep a journal of exactly what I do each day. So down the road, someone will say, hey, do you remember when you did this six months ago? I can say, no, I didn't do that, or yes, I did, and this is what happened. You have to be able to express exactly what you mean, whether it be measurements, type of material, thicknesses. You can't have your own style of slang unfamiliar from other trades. Did you ever think you'd be this close to a submarine? Ten years ago, not a chance, but now I love everything about it. And nine to five hours? About 6.33 and all the overtime you can handle. Oh, nice. There's so many aspects to the trades that a lot of people don't realize. There's sheet metal, there's pipe fitting, there's welding, there's steel fitting. There's so many different things that you can be doing that just every day challenges you. You're, you're never doing the same thing every day. It's always something new. It can be very challenging at times. And I love pipe fitting. I love putting things together. I love seeing how a submarine works, the systems involved. It may take an hour to figure it out, but once you figure it out and get it bent up, it looks pretty darn sharp. I just love what I do. See, thanks so much for showing me around the submarine. No problem. Thanks for coming over. Thank you. See you later. Once again, this is Career Trek, and I'm Viviana reminding you that this career could be yours. We'll see you next time.